We're going to talk in section 10.1 about adding and subtracting polynomials. Honestly, I could teach you this section in five minutes. You're going to find out you've already done this stuff before. Okay, this is just putting it all together. First thing, you got to know what a polynomial, can you say polynomial for me? Polynomial. It's a weird word, right? Polynomial. <laughs> polynomial, there's two parts to it, poly and nomial. Poly means many or several. Nomial, in this case, means terms, so many termed expressions. That's what a polynomial is. Polynomial is just one or more terms being added or subtracted. give you some examples of polynomials because I need you to be very good with, with identifying terms and coefficients. Now we've done it before in chapter 3 a long time ago. just need you to be good at it. So let's, let's take a look at, at some of these. Uh, x minus 2. x minus 2 is a polynomial. How many terms does that have? Two. Good. What's the first term? X. What's the second term? Two. Goes with the sign. Negative 2. Are they like terms? No. Oh, there's a blast from the past. Remember like terms? Yeah. Like terms have the same variable raised to the same exponent. It says two terms, x and negative 2. How about this one? How many terms does that have? Three, two. Three. Terms are those things that are separated by pluses and minuses. Three. Three terms. What's the first term? Three squared. That makes the coefficient of the first term what? The coefficient is the number out front. Three. three. Coefficient is three here. The next term is 4x. You with me on that? What's the coefficient there? Four. four. Good. It goes with the sign, so positive four. The next term is a constant term. It's just a number. You'd have negative one. So there's three terms there. All right, let's see how good you are. How many terms? Four. 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 Good, four terms. Let's go this side. What's the coefficient of the first term? Negative eight. Negative eight. eight. How about the coefficient of the second term? Negative two. Negative. What's the third term? Negative. What's the coefficient there? Negative. The coefficient of this? One. Yeah, the number out front. What number's out front? One. 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 Good, it's not written, but it's a one. The next one doesn't have a coefficient because it's just a number. You got a term, it's a constant term, negative nine. Are you guys okay identifying the terms and the coefficients? Here's what we're going to be doing in this section. We'll be able to do a couple examples now. We'll deal with most of them next time. We'll talk about adding first. Then we'll talk about subtracting. The parentheses are there to show you where these polynomials came from. This said that this was the first polynomial and you're adding another polynomial to it. Could you tell me how many terms are in the first polynomial? One. Two. Two. One. How many? Two. Two. One, two, yeah, there's two of them. How many terms are in the second polynomial? Two. Two, two terms. Terms are numbers? Terms are, are items separated by pluses and minuses. So we have two terms here, we have two terms here, negative 6x and 2, and we're adding these polynomials together. Here is your goal. Your goal is to get rid of the parentheses somehow and combine like terms. Just watch carefully on this example. This is the only one we're going to get to today. Hey, are there any numbers to distribute here? So are these parentheses doing anything on this particular polynomial? No, not really. There's nothing to distribute. There's nothing really going on. 
I could drop my parentheses and be just fine. This is the same exact expression. You with me on that? Now, go to the next part. Plus, what number is actually out front? No, this, I'm sorry, right here. Plus what? One. It's like there's a one, a positive one right there. If I were to distribute this positive one, is it going to change anything in my parentheses? No. Watch carefully what I'm going to do here. Please watch on, on the board. This is how you have to do it. If you distribute positive 1 times negative 6x, you're going to get negative 6x. Are you with me on that? Right. You know what? I can write two signs. You're going to write one sign. Remember doing that before? Yeah. Having the signs take care of themselves? That's why I taught you that way. So when you get to here, you go, oh, yeah, that's just going to be a minus 6x. Where did the minus 6x come from? Because you're taking positive 1 times negative 6x. It's giving you minus 6x. You don't write plus negative. You just write a minus. Are you with me on that? Mm -hmm. Next up, what am I going to get? Plus two. Plus two. Good. Because there's just a one out front. It's not changing anything. You essentially have dropped the parentheses. Hey, look at it. Can you combine like terms? Yeah. Oh, booyah. Oh, yeah. We've done that before. What are you like terms in this case? Three. Is it important to get the signs right? Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not going to get the right answer. You're going to get what out of that? Three. Lastly, I have negative plus. one and I have two. That's plus one. Can you combine negative 3x plus 1? No. Then you're done. That's your answer. So our whole goal in chapter 10.1 is to get rid of the parentheses and combine like terms. Have we done it before? Yes, we've done it all before. OK, so we're continuing to add and subtract some polynomials. Again, polynomials just mean some expressions that have terms being added or subtracted. So a little refresher. Uh, this is our first polynomial. How many terms are right here? Two. And how many terms are right here? Two. What's the first term in this polynomial? Negative nine. And negative nine what? Y. y. And the coefficient would be negative nine. This term would be our negative 14. Our idea was somehow get rid of the parentheses. If you have numbers to distribute, you'll be distributing. Here we, we don't. And then combine like terms. So we notice on the first one, really we have just a simple positive one out there. And if we distribute, nothing's going to happen to those terms. So when we get rid of our parentheses, we'll have 3y plus 7 from the first set of parentheses. Are you OK with the 3y plus 7 not changing there? Now the second set of parentheses, again, we, we really just have a, a 1, a positive 1 right in front. Are these signs going to change? No. no. So when I distribute a positive 1, which you can show that or not, it really doesn't matter to me. If you do show that, notice how you're going to get negative 9y still. Are you with me on that? So what I don't want from you, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see plus minus 9y. I don't want to see those two signs. Those signs take care of themselves. So instead of writing plus minus or plus negative 9y, we can just write a subtraction sign. Are you OK with that? Yes. OK, so here, I don't want, I don't want those two. That's too confusing. That's too confusing. So when you have a plus, a positive times a negative, we got a negative. This should go back to what I taught you how to distribute. The signs take care of themselves. We just have to man manipulate them appropriately. And then minus 14. After that, it comes down to can you combine like terms? You have to know what like terms are. Do I have any like terms? Yes. So if we combine those, I know I'm going to get negative 6y. And if I do my 7 and my negative 14, that's minus 7. And that's as far as you can go. You're done with your, your problem. Are you guys OK with that one so far? OK. Let's try to work on this one together. Firstly, how many terms are in the first polynomial? Tell me that. Two. How many terms in the last polynomial? Three. Good. What's the coefficient of this term? Good. Coefficient's the number in front of that, that variable. What's the coefficient of this term? Six. Goes with the sign. Negative six. Negative six, that's right. First thing we look for is how do we get rid of parentheses? Are there any numbers to distribute here? So we can drop those. It's basically like having a positive 1 out front. If we multiply positive 1 times anything, it doesn't change. So we'll have our 9y squared minus 6y. 
what's next? What, what do you suppose we're going to do, do here? Do we have anything that's going to change these signs or change these values? No. no. We have a positive 1 here. If you distribute positive 1, nothing's going to change. So you'll still get plus 7y squared. Notice how we have the positive, so we're writing plus. We've got plus 10y and then plus 2. Give me a little head nod if you're okay on getting that far. All right. Now let's combine some like terms. Why don't you tell me what like terms I have up here? 9y squared, 7y squared. 9y squared, great. And a positive 7y squared. Everybody, how much is that going to give me, please? 16y squared. Why don't we get 16y to the fourth? Do you do anything with those exponents when you combine them? No. Okay, good. Well, I see a, a y here and a y here. Those also count for like terms. That's going to be plus 4y. And then lastly, that 2 off to the back end, there's no like terms with it. We'll just write the plus 2 at the very end. Also, we try to write our polynomials in descending order of exponents. What that means is, like, if you have a y cubed, that'll come out front. Then a y squared, then a y, then the number comes last. So they should be in that order. That's called standard form. So we want it to go like y squared, then y, then numbers, if we have those expressions. What you don't want to have is this y in front of your y squared. It's just not written appropriately. Is it wrong? No, not technically, but it's not right either. All right, we want it in descending order of exponents. Well, let's try one more together. I'll, I'll give you two to do on your own. We'll talk about some subtraction, and that'll pretty much be our section. Hey, is it okay in this example if I just drop the parentheses around the first polynomial? Is anything going to change if I do that? No. 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 So I have just a positive one out front. It's not going to affect any of those signs in there. All this parentheses is doing in this case is grouping that and saying this is the first polynomial, this is what it originally was. Now I'm adding to it another polynomial. That's why those parentheses are there. In this case, there's a one out front. It's not changing anything. So I can just drop those parentheses. And in the next case, I have a positive 1 out front. But again, that positive 1 being distributed is not going to change any of my values. So after my 3 here, I'll write a plus 8y squared. I'll write a minus 6y. And then I'll write a minus 3. Notice how none of my signs are changing. None of my values are changing. Those parentheses were really just grouping those things for us. Still all right so far? Let's go ahead and combine them the rest of the way. How many y squares am I going to get when I combine my negative y squared and my 8 y squared? Okay. How many y's am I going to get when I do my 2y and my negative 6y? So I'm going to write minus 4y. What am I going to get when I combine my positive 3 and my negative 3? So what am I going to write? Nothing. Then you're done. That's it. That's in standard form. It goes from y squared down to y. No, con no constant after that. So, so we're good to go. Would you raise your hand if you feel okay with what we've just talked about? Good. Let's, let's practice this a couple times. Make sure you guys are really getting the hang of it.